Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be rolling my coin. As you can see, I have my coin banks and then we're gonna be taking the ones out of my $1 challenge jar. And then I have my $2 jar. Mm, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take these out just yet because it is the sixth month. Um, but we will see what will happen later on in the video, okay? All right, so if that is something that you want to check out and see guys to see how much I have, please stay tuned. Okay. Okay. So we gotta make sure we have all of our essentials we have our banks we have our jars these little containers here is where i'm going to pour my coin in just so i can have it separate to make it easier to roll and then you got to make sure you have your coin rollers because how you going to roll your coin if you don't have your coin rollers right all right so then i'm just going to use these little plastic zippy bags just in case if i have some extra coin left over and then this is going to be what i'm going to be putting it in for taking it back to the bank so hopefully we have, you know, a nice little chunk. And then just make sure that, you know, for you check all of your coin pouches, your pockets, the bottom of your purse to make sure you don't have any other coin lingering around. So this is what we got going on today. So let's go ahead and make sure we get everything out of here. So we're going to go ahead and do, oh, yay. Good job, Tina. <laughs> All right, that's okay. That was crazy loud. Okay, all right, so we're just going to go ahead and separate. And this is 1991. That is super old. All right, so right now I'm just going to separate. But I think for the nickel, I only have three of these. For my, um, my nickels, I don't really have a lot in there. So I'm just going to actually put the nickels inside of this one here. And then I'm just going to do the pennies and keep the pennies and the dimes separate. Because I don't know what I did with the other little one. Because I had four of them. But I think I stuck it somewhere as usual. And we don't have a fourth one. So we're going to work with what we got here. Alright, so I am actually going to keep this one out. This one just looks so funny to me. And it's like the little drummer boy on the back. I don't know if you guys can see but I'm going to keep that one. So that one is not going in there. Okay. All right. So we are going to go ahead and take out our pennies and these little coin banks here. I just pretty much got these from the dollar store. And if you can catch them um, sometimes in the owls. So we're going to go. All right. This might be a little, a little loud. All right. So we got that. So this is gonna be a little chatty, guys. So um, I do have some new things coming. Um, I can't really say what it is until I actually get it. So I've been kind of like working on it for a little bit. Um, so I had to make sure that I quality check all of it just to make sure that it is, you know, up to par for um, adding to my website. So I've actually, I've had like a lot, I've been like super busy. And then, like I said, I've been pretty much preparing. I put tape on the back just to make sure that this doesn't come off. Cause I did get these at the dollar store y'all. So just make sure that these are, you know, standing their ground. So, um, yeah, so I just have to make sure that, um, I'm not sure the exact release date of what I have coming. But um, I'm sure it will be um, probably, I probably will release it for the beginning of the month. So, of next month, not this month, next month. All right, I'm struggling here, struggling. All right, so that's what um, will happen with that. So hopefully you guys like it. Um, I'm always like trying to come up with like different, like little new cool things for you guys. All right, so we have that. All right, so we are just going to take the nickels and we're just gonna go ahead and count those because those aren't like enough to roll. Because for the nickels, they are $2 a roll. The coders are $10 a roll. The pennies are 50 cents a roll and the dimes are $5 a roll. So I don't know if we have enough for a whole bunch of rolls, but if y'all see this, I got this totally backwards. But if I don't have enough, that's why I said I have these little teeny um, Ziploc bags that I can just write with a Sharpie what it is and then we can cash them in so um i think i don't know i might for our trip i might end up using some of this money for the trip 
or I might just deposit it into savings or I could put it towards my Discover credit card. Um, so I'm not sure just as of yet. So I'm just kind of like figuring it out, winging it. All right, so we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, a dollar. So we have a dollar and five cents. So we are not going to be able to roll this because, um, as I was saying, the dimes, I mean, they're not the dimes. <laughs> These are not dimes. So the nickels are $2. And if you get these, you can actually, and I'm gonna show you guys how to easily roll the coin because those little machines like Coinstar in them, I know they are convenient, but they do take a percentage and that's money that you can be putting into your savings account or you can be putting into some of your savings challenges and stuff like that. So I'll show you guys an easy way how I roll it. So um, you can kind of try it, but if it's not for you and it's still not easy for you, um, I don't, you know, I don't blame you. I just like rolling coins, so so it's not that bad for me. Okay, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and hop into the codas. So remember I told you these were $10 a piece. So, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Looks like we have a nickel in here. <laughs> Nine. And then we got $10. Okay. So I am actually going to put this in here. I'm going to do that. So we have 110. Ooh. I am like throwing markers. Okay. So an easy way to actually roll the coin if you have these, the ones that don't open, is basically take your fingers and actually round this out like this. All right. So as you can see, my finger is in there. It's like kind of like a little base, like a little, I keep my finger straight. So that way, and you don't want to just grab one. So that way it'll keep it from going sideways. Take a couple of them and y'all do this and y'all let me know if this was easy for you or if it was hard. So y'all let me know if you tried it and put it in the comments. Okay. So as you can see, I'm gonna try to get close as I can. So what I'm doing is just putting it in here. And then as you can see, it's on the side of my finger here. And then all I'm gonna do is basically take this finger, all right, and I'm just gonna push this over so it's kind of like balancing on my finger underneath. So that way you can see how the coda is now turned this way in the tube, and y'all can hear the train. All right, so now what you wanna do is just, when you do it, I would just grab a few of them and kind of stack them up like this and just shake them, put them in here like that, and then as you do that, you can kind of like scoot them over so they'll lay down straight. And sometimes you might have to maneuver them a little bit, just like go back and forth. But as you can see, those went in there. All right, so then just grab a little bit more and take your time. You don't have to do this super fast. All right, so then just do like that. And so as you can see, it's starting to go as the roll. So this is just something that, you know what I'm saying? I know some people say this is just hard to do and I just like doing it so it's not too bad for me um so that's just like a little way and as you can see we're going down and then like I said <laughs> give me okay this is what we're gonna do give me the thumbs up or thumbs down if you tried it and or if you think that this looks hard thumbs down <laughs> or if you tried it and it didn't work for you or thumbs up if you tried it real quick and you were like, hey, this worked, or it looks easy. All right, so then you just fold the edges here, and then you just do that, and then you are good. All right, so what we have left, we have one, two, three, four, five. All right, so we got 550, and this is not gonna make, this is not gonna make the, <laughs> the cut for another, roll here. Alright, so we had 550. Alright, so where is this where all this coin is coming from? So I do cash envelopes. So this is just the money that I have set aside just for all the coin and also some of my ones that I have set aside for after I spend the money out of my coin out of my um cash envelope wallet which is this here. So I have envelopes set up for different types so instead of like trying to put the coin back into the envelope 
I just take that, put it to the side in my coin purse here. And then that way I can basically, you know, just put it in my little banks to separate it. I used to put it all together, but as you can see, I think keeping it separate is a little bit easier because I would have had to take the time to like divide it all up. All right, so we got twin, 10, twin. I'm saying twin, well, they are twins. They both look alike, but they're not twins. All right, so we got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60. All right, so we got 460, and if I had 40 more cents, I could actually make a roll. So, <laughs> this is pretty much half of a roll here. And like I said, I don't have a set time that I do it, but I just felt like I'll go ahead and get rid of some of this coin and then I'll just basically start over and I just like to see where I'm at with it. And then, like I said, I'm gonna cash this in. So that's what we have there. All right, so now we got the good old pennies. This is usually where we have like the most, all right? So we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. All right, and we have an extra dime here. All right, so we got four, let's do. So we got 470. All right, so I'm just gonna separate these again. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. So, like I said, I like rolling coins, so this is not too bad, so we got it. All right, so I'm gonna actually, speed this up a little bit so you guys can actually we can get through this video you're not watching me just roll this all the time okay all right so I'm just gonna start the base of it again and show you guys fold it out fold it so that it's round so just grab a couple of them enough to kind of make like a little like a little cylinder whatever you want to call it finger goes in the middle and then you just kind of line it up so it's like flat and then you just pretty much roll with it so if you're like watching a netflix or something or watching your favorite show i've been watching stranger things i'm not like a scary person um not scary person but i'm not like a scary movie person i don't do scary movies because i am a scary cat brady cat however you want to call it but stranger things um kind of got my kind of got my attention there all right, so let's speed this up real quick. All right, let's go. <laughs> So we got all of our coin rolled here, put that there. So this is what we got rolled. Now we're gonna go ahead and check out and see what we have for our $1 coin, not $1 coins, our $1 bills. All right, so let's go ahead and get on these. Yo, should I be checking out for like a star note or something in here? Or like some crazy serial numbers or whatever, whatnot? I know like that is like a big thing now. Like um, you even see people on Macari um, selling these also. So. All right, so let's see. 
one. And these are ones that I have left over um, from um, my cash envelope stuffings that I do. So that's where, if you're wondering, that's where all these came from. So anytime I have ones left over, I always end up putting them in here. So I've been looking, guys. I don't think I have any Star Note ones. So I don't think I have any. Okay, so let's scoot that over there. All right, so let's go ahead and count how many ones we have. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. All right, so we got $34 in here. And I am actually going to take a sticky and put it on here so that I know that this is $34. Because if not, I will forget. All right, so I think I might go ahead and take my twos and just start over. And I know some of you guys are probably going to be like, oh, you're taking the twos. But you know what? You can always get more twos. So, all right. So we're just going to go ahead and take all of these out. These are just twos that I have collected. for. Because remember I had a $2 challenge that I did at the beginning of the year. And once that um, all got filled up, I think it was like 100 bucks. I put that towards my Capital One credit card. So, and then I ended up getting more too. So, so they twos come and go. So let's just see what we have here. We'll just get all the twos. All of the twos, all the things, guys, all the twos. Okay, so let's see. And like I said, who goes to show by the time I get to the bank, I'm like, no, I think I'm gonna keep those. These things are super crisp too. So these probably be so. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. We're getting to the bottom. All right. So and then we'll see how much we have to deposit. And like I said, I might put some of this in my savings or might take it for the trip. I'll just figure that out. I'll have to ponder on it. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I'll just pretty much start my jar of twos back over. All right, so we got two. And then these gonna be pretty crisp, so these gonna be hard to count. So we got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 52, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80. <laughs> I have to pause for a second. So this is $80. So I'm just gonna do ones and twos. So this is $80. That looks like a mess, but it's okay. All right, so let's go ahead and count and see how much we have here. And I'm just gonna actually put this with this. And I'm gonna put my cash in here. Which one is open? Just gonna do that. That's like a nice little knot, y'all, right? All right. So we have 3480, and then we have that. So I'm gonna get my calculator, and then I'm gonna calculate and see how much we have. All right, so we got $34 plus $80 plus um, 35 cents plus, gotta hit the plus sign, 470 plus 550 plus 110. Wow, I did better than I did last time when I started this. All right, so, cause I think last time I had like 85, $86. So we have $10 um, plus $1. Okay, so we have 1,000, 1,000. All right, so I have $136.65, y'all, in coin. So this is basically just me taking the coin that I use for my everyday um, two weeks, bi-weekly pay cash stuffing envelopes. I take all of the coin that I have from that, put that in my coin banks, and then the ones that I have, I put those in my coin banks, and if I can get some extra twos, I put those in my bank. So this is where all this money come from. So this is something easy that you can do to kind of save for money, because this will be actually some good money for our vacation that's coming up, or um, I can just put it for a deposit. So I'm gonna kind of like 
figure out what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to put, um, I think I'm just going to put this in here. And then that way I'll have all of this. So that when I go to a little bank to drop this off, I can just carry all of this like this. And I'm just going to put this little sticky in here so I'll know what I got. And then we're going to put that there. So, all right, y'all. So this is all of my cash that is coming from my coins. So even if you are like low income or whatever, whatnot, you can do this. So the total comes up to $5.15. Do not go in your coin purse and get out a dime and a nickel. Just go ahead and give them the full dollar amount of $6, a five and a one. I said a $6. There's no such thing as $6. And then that way you can just kind of bundle up and get a lot of coin. So thank you guys so much for chilling with me through this video, rolling my coin. All right. So if you did like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. And if you did like it, please make sure to share, 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 and like, 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 because I do appreciate it. And then also, guys, if you are not already hopped over to my Instagram, it's called A Pink Cloth Life and my TikTok, A Pink Cloth Life. And then, like I'll always say, until next time, guys, peace.